Hello, welcome to One Minute Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and today we're looking at Matthew 26, verse 14 through 16. This is right after Mary poured the perfume over Jesus, and it says, Judas went to the leading priests and said, how much will you give me to betray Jesus to you? They gave him 30 pieces of silver, and from that point forward, he was looking for an opportunity. Now, this story is one of the stories people use to say the Bible contradicts itself because it's told differently in the different Gospels. In John, when he talks about the perfume, he says Judas was just mad because he was the treasurer, and if she donated her money, then he'd have pilfered some of it. John was pretty hurt by the betrayal, and he probably ended up thinking Judas was just another crook. Luke 22 says Satan entered into Judas. Well, when we're not obeying God, who are we obeying? What if there's more to this story? Throughout the Gospels, Jesus talks about the prophecies of him as Messiah. And he talks about his betrayal. Judas came to follow Jesus after growing up with his head filled with stories about this glorious Messiah that was finally going to establish Israel as a peaceful and prosperous nation. And they're living in the middle of vicious Roman rule. So William Barclay, the professor of divinity at Glasgow, said, you know, what if maybe he did like a little money? It wouldn't hurt to be ruling with the Messiah. And maybe he thought the prophecies were about him. And he said, you know, I'm going to push God's hand, help Jesus to show himself as the Messiah at last. Guys, we get really disappointed when we try to force God's hand. Judas was horrified when Jesus was condemned. Talk to God today. Let him lead you in his timing, in his way. God bless you.